What's up everyone, Train Freak here and Train Freak Jr. And we're at the Jacksonville, Arkansas 2021 train show. Let's see what all they got. I hear there's some pretty cool stuff here. All right, let's start off. We got some O-scale stuff. That's the way I got it. Some HO. Look here. G. That's pretty neat. Like just lots and lots of stuff. This place is packed. I know, I know. Still got tips, I know you have. How's it going? How y'all doing? Good, and you? Somebody's following you. I know, right? Oh, okay. Oh, you're with him. <laughs> oh, okay. I am with him. That's why I'm following you. Ooh, how about that, y'all? Uh-huh. Hey Craig. Good morning, how are you? Morning, how are you? Let me get rid of this thing hanging off my ear. I heard that. You're going to be on YouTube. Well, that's a good thing. Good morning, Mr. Aaron's got that set. Uh, 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 out front of the parking lot, we've got some vendors, one of them is selling hot dogs and rocks, and they are smelling good. We still have some door prices to be coming up here. Blue 54271, Blue 54288, Blue 54329, Orange 77180. You can pick up the prizes to the left of the stage in the ballroom. Lots and lots of locomotives. Grain buildings as well. That's a good scale. Watch out, buddy. Ooh, Southern Pacific. Yeah. That's that type of locomotive, right? Yeah. Lots and lots of stuff. Yeah, this is in scale. It is in scale. Yeah, because it says... We might have to get you some stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's just lots and lots of stuff. So much stuff. There he is. Well, hopefully, again, I mean, y'all, there's just stuff way over there. I mean, just lots of stuff. Probably one of the best train shows I have been at in a while. We got some O scale. Chevy dealership. This might be S scale, Aaron. S scale? Yeah. I do. Hey, it's the engineers. Yeah. Oh, 
don't know, right? Is that not cool? This must be a man. That's a shay. Ooh. I remember seeing one of those. Yeah. You think the smoke's in a loop? Yeah. Where is We got Container Man 68's area. Just got stuff everywhere, layouts everywhere. Just everywhere layouts are. That's really cool. I remember this part. Yeah, they got cotton belt. That's what's up. Last time I bought a belt. I remember that. They spent out of the show about three years ago. But they started out in Ogage. It's pretty good looking model for them. Yeah, oh, they do a great job. And really, the prices are not that bad. Oh, they're not considering it already. Yeah, they, they live. Every one of their models is going to have to be patient. Can I pick them back on No, we don't. Hey, it's another Southern Pacific. That's the way it runs so damn good. Mm -hmm. Got more stuff. This is just a lot of little different things that people might need for setting up the train. scale. It's just lots and lots of stuff. Got more in scale. Oh, 
What's up, David? Hey. I'm I'm not live, but I am recording. I've already been on the radio this morning, so. Have you? Yeah. There we go. Got some Ashley Drew Northern. Gotta have some of those. Fired up, go. Got some more ADMs there. Japanese bullet train. Yes, it was. Oh, okay. yeah. more HO. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to come back later. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, stuff on the floor. <laughs> Keep on going. Just lots and lots and lots of stuff. And stuff over here too. Boxes, storage boxes, more stuff. That's really cool. All kinds of t shirts. Well, what do you know? It's Train Freak Junior. He's got his Leo here. And he's running a freight train and he's got the California Zephyr on display. I'm sure he'll be swapping those in and out from time to time. So, and we got our friend Brian helping us out too. All right. Well, y'all, that's the end of the train show. It's the last booth. I saved the best one for last. How about that?
Hey guys, so we did day one of the train show. We will be back, well, by the time you're watching this, we're there right now. So let us show you what all we got off of day one. We probably won't get anything on day two because now day two is going to be kind of slim pickings. Unless someone brings in more material that they didn't have out because, I mean, that place had stuff everywhere. So we're going to start off with Junior's stuff first and kind of go from there. I'm going to hold the first one up because it's kind of big, but it's a useful purpose. So there's this vendor who was selling these. Yeah, it looks just like a regular box, right? But what's it for, Aaron? It's actually for train storage. So that way train when you're storage. like when you're like uh, going on a bumpy road and you want to take those with you when you're driving or something, then uh, the stuff won't break because there's also foam in it. So these are all trains, of course, that Aaron already had before. But the neat thing is, is you can actually take out one of these and have more underneath. So, and this is for N scale. They had some for H, O, and O um, scales as well. But um, I think he said that this thing will hold up to roughly 60 pieces of rolling stock slash locomotives. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so we definitely got him uh, one of those. And then, of course, he can use it just to store. It's for easy access. And when we go to these train shows and whatnot, we could just actually just take this with us and it make our lives a little easier. All right, set that over to the side, bud. All right, so he scored some train cars. He got seven of them. So why don't you start off and show? go ahead and pull them out and show everybody what you got. First... I got a Southern Pacific um, covered hopper. Okay, and it's a short one. Yeah, and the letter and the lettering is yellow. Okay. Let's see. Here, so that way you don't have to keep getting up and down. I'll just hand them to you. Yeah, this one I don't know about this one, but it says "Congratulations, America." So that has to do with Canadian Forest Products. Wait, did it say Heath has one of those? And I think Heath from Humanity Junction has this car. And I have it in HO scale. So it's a pretty, pretty neat car. Here's the next one. State of Maine Products. Yeah, so that, and, that's pretty cool. And it's a standard box car. Yeah. Here is a cotton belt covered hopper. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh... Oh, there you go. Yes. Cool. All right. And here we go. I'll take this one out because this one's got padding that's covering it. Well, there you go. Girl. Wait, let's save it for last. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Show this side first, and then you can show the other side. Yeah. So, at first, you're wondering, a cindrilical hopper, that CN. Just wait till I turn it around. Ooh. Hey, it's like the color of the rainbow. Rainbow. I, I wonder why blue and purple have black between them, but I don't know it's why. indigo. Wait, indigo? Yep, it's like a really dark purple. Oh. Okay. So, from my understanding, the prototypical had gray on one side and then it had the colors on the other and Bachman also makes this one but because they have colors on both sides it's not prototypical it just looks cool oh, oh hold both of those you can do both these at the same top same car different road numbers there you go so these are Ashley, Drew, and Northern uh, boxcars. Thrall it's... doors. Wait, what? They're called Thrall. Thrall doors? Yep, yeah, Thrall door boxcars. That means the whole side is nothing but doors. Except, I don't know if you can see it, but it the only thing that is different about these is they have a different railroad number. 
Yep, different recording marks. That's cool, dude. Yeah. All right, so that's all your stuff. Yeah. So he got some really, really nice stuff. They were all Microtrains, Atlas, and uh, the CN cars, uh, Inter Intermountain, and then the two Ashley Drew Northerns are Red Cabooses. Really, really nice stuff. Okay, my first one, and I actually did a trade, and I've got a plan for this one. Um, I am looking, I've been looking for a switcher locomotive, but I've been looking for an NW2. It's, it's an EMD. It's one of the first EMDs. And Craig at the hobby shop had this one, and I ended up having a caboose that just does not fit any of my eras on my layout. And it, it's an Atherm Genesis caboose that had the DCC lighting in it. And so I traded that one for him because it was Southern Pacific Railroad Police for this guy. Now, of course, y'all know I do not run the Seaboard Airline, um, so this one's going to get repainted. Um, I'm hoping to paint in one of the first paint schemes that Cottonbelt had that a lot of people don't know about, and that's because the only locomotives that had that paint scheme were the NW2s and the FT units, and it was their Confederate gray and yellow paint scheme with the red pinstripe. It's really sharp looking. So that's going to be a future project uh, for me, and then I plan on trying to add sound to it. And I've been told that it's a lot easier said than done, so we'll just have to see uh, the difficulty on that. So, so I got that, and that was just an even swap. The next thing I got is, I, got, I found a throttle. It's an NCE Pro Cab throttle. It's not wireless, it's just a throttle. So I was like, hey, why not? I can always use an extra throttle that allows another person to operate the future layout simultaneously. So how about that? And then I scored on some pieces of rolling stock and I mainly went after two things. Those being open hoppers for my coal train and then the 40 foot tank cars. Those are the two main things that I was looking and going after but there was so much stuff there I was interested in that if I had all the money in the world I'd probably buy that whole show up just about. Um, lots of good vendors. Oh my God. So the first thing I got is and the, ooh, these are weighted really good and this one didn't come with the box but uh, this guy here he was selling all his prices at 30% off the sticker price so I got this one for $13 minus the 30%. It's a uh, Texas and New Orleans with the Southern Pacific Herald. So it's an open hopper. And the this one has metal wheels and KD couplers. Uh, not the right KDs, but they are KD couplers. So I will be swapping those out with my other ones eventually. And then, of course, had this one here as well, just a Southern Pacific. And this one, I gave $11 for it. It has plastic wheels and, of course, Katie couplers. So, I mean, $11 ain't bad, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not too expensive. All right, so we found a tank car. And this one was $15. It's a three-dome Union. Union Tank or Union 76. So I don't have any of those. I thought that was pretty cool. Found another tank car. And this one was $19. And it was the United States Army. So I've got a United States Army box car. And then I saw this tanker. I was like, that's really cool. So I went ahead and jumped on one of those. Uh, plastic wheels, but, you know, KD couplers. And let's see here. The Union one, same thing. Plastic wheels, KD couplers. This guy puts KD on everything. So he's always good to buy from. Mm -hmm. uh, this one here I gave $19 for. It's got metal wheels. And I think it has KDs as well, or it's the plastic, but... This one says U.S. Navy Gas and Supply Company, but it's got the Shell logo in the middle. 
So, I don't know much about that, but it says Colorado Distributors in Denver, Colorado. Ooh, nice. So, I thought that was pretty cool, so I went ahead and got that one, too. Uh, that way, if I do, like, a, a small tribute train for, like, Veterans Day or something like that, that would be a cool piece to put on there. Uh -huh. And then to finish this bag, I found this railroad. It's called the Sabine River in Northern. Um, for those who watched my last live stream, uh, I had my friend Stephen Schuth on it. Um, he was talking about the railroads uh, that, um, you know, he grew up on and the railroad that they came from. And I think he said that this was the, I know he said this was the one that Russell Tedder came from, who was the president of the Ashley Drew Northern. But I can't remember if he said his dad also came from this railroad or not. So, But I know it's one that um, I've actually saw one of these boxcars go down the railroad not too long ago. So this one doesn't fit my 1960s era, um, but it definitely does fit the 1976 one. So I went ahead and got that. Um, and then I've got one more bag of goodies to go through. This is from a different vendor. I found this one. This is called TM of I, so I don't know much about it. But this is a Texas and Pacific, and it came with a coal load with it. So it's a little short one. Uh, train Miniatures of Illinois, that's it. So this is a train mini miniature. I gave 19 bucks for that one. Um, I, you know... Some of the vendors were more forgiving than others, but it's got local couplers on it. I just don't know if it's the plastic ones because the lids take on it. So, and like I said, I was in search for these uh, open hoppers. All right, this one is not an open hopper, but this is a box car I actually do not have. And it is a double sheaf wooden almost broken cotton belt box car um nothing broke thank god but it's a kit that i gotta put together uh aaron if you will grab those pieces for me that would be great yes sir yep those uh little bitty sprues that comes with the kits was inside the shell so but yeah um let me see if i can rehold it back up there yep it's a kit i'll have to put together there we go basically a building kit well, it's a car kit. Oh. So, okay. yeah. like I said, it's one I do not have. All right, next one up on the docket. And this is a kit that's got to be put together, but he put Katie Couplers in the bag. It's a MKT open hopper. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I do have a few kits. Uh, Steve Childers is going to like this one. And this one's got, looks like Katie Couplers, and it's got metal wheels. we got a Burlington open hopper. Ooh. And it does say Burlington route everywhere west on one side. Nope, these are plastic wheels. But it's got, looks like Katie Couplers. Yep. So CB and Q, that's... Uh, makes perfect. Alright, let me get that back in there before we break anything else, I'm sure. And we got two more pieces. And what do you know? Ah, here's the other one. Another Burlington. Everywhere West. So I guess I got two of them. Wow, just wow. Yeah, one's a three bay and the other one's a four bay. That's the difference. It's yep. Just... Yep, and the road numbers are different. So um, let me put those back up there. There you go. We got a three and a four bay. So, now the three bay has metal wheels. And KD couplers. So, I guess you can't win them all, right? Yes. And then I've got one more car, and I think it's a kit. Yeah, it's a kit that I'll have to put together. And this is a Bowser. 
and it's taped. Of course it's taped, right? See, well, oh, I got the tape broken on one side. Oh, he taped it all, all he taped all four sides. How about that? It's a uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Missouri. Um, so this is the original A L or A and L M. Uh, from my understanding, it kind of went along the east coast, uh, or not the east coast, the east side of the Ar state of Arkansas, uh, from Tallulah, Louisiana, um, up towards like West Memphis, kind of the I-55 once you get to I-40, uh, pretty much paralleling the Mississippi River all the way from Louisiana to Missouri, to the Boot Hill of Missouri. Um, so it's the Arkansas and Louisiana Missouri Railroad. Not to be confused with the current ALM, which is the Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi. So, I thought that was pretty cool that, that he had one of those there, so I jumped on it too. And then the last thing Aaron got that he forgot to show you, and we used it today, was... A re-railer? A Kato re-railer. So, he needed one earlier, so... So, that's that was our haul at the 2021 Jacksonville Arkansas train show man a lot of vendors a lot of good stuff um, it didn't matter what scale uh, except for seven and a half inch gauge I'm sorry that I didn't see any of that there um, and then if you you're in people European people if you say there was no oh, oh there was double O and there was in gauge as well so hey, there's double O yeah there's a double O gauge and that was the Hornby uh, British locomotives. There was a table that had some British locomotives for sale too, which I thought was really cool. I so, never knew there was a OO scale. There is a OO scale. That is correct. So, what? other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to go ahead and by the time you're wrapping this video up, we're still showing our layout off. So, y'all have a good one out there. Uh, Sidetrack Sunday tonight, I think, is on Ray Bobel's channel. Uh, no clue what he's got planned, so make sure you tune into that one as well. And we will continue back on the Delta Pi subdivision hopefully next week. Y'all be safe out there, have a good one, and happy railroading. Bye!